Hi welcome to the introductory class to the computational chemistry. Theoretical and computational chemistry Richard Feynman says that all theoretical chemistry is really physics, and all theoretical chemists know it. So, this is an interesting fact about computational chemistry that its fundamental laws are based on physics. Computational chemistry, also called molecular modeling, the two terms mean about the same thing is a set of techniques for investigating chemical problems on a computer rather than using chemicals. Computational chemistry uses the results of theoretical chemistry, then incorporated into efficient computer programs, which basically calculate the structures and properties of molecules. Common computational investigations. Questions commonly investigated computationally are molecular geometry, the shapes of molecules bond lengths, angles and dihedrals between the atoms in a molecule and this way we become able to get the stable structure of molecule. You can also do this using experimental chemistry using X-ray or NMR analysis. Energies of molecules in transition states, this tells us which isomer is favored at equilibrium. Which isomer have low energy, how fast a reaction should go. You can also visualize the transition state which you normally cannot visualize. You can also study the ground state using computational chemistry. Chemical reactivity. For example, knowing where the electrons are concentrated, nucleophilic sites, and where they want to go, electrophilic sites, enables us to predict where various kinds of reagents will attack a molecule. IR, UV and an NMR spectra. These can be calculated, and if the molecule is unknown, someone trying to make it knows what to look for. If you have unknown molecule you can computationally calculate a spectrum which help you get the idea about the experimental spectrum of molecule. Nobel Recognition of Computational Chemistry The 1998 Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to Walter Cohn for development of the density functional theory John Popel for development of computational methods in quantum chemistry. In 2013, Martin Karplus, Michael Levitt, and Arye Warshell have been awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the development of computer-based methods to model complex systems. Advantages of computational chemistry calculations are easy to perform, whereas experiments are often difficult. Sometimes you face difficulties in gathering results using experimental chemistry. While in computational chemistry you have to just start your job on computer and it will ultimately calculate the results. So we can say that computational chemistry require less manpower as compared to experimental. Calculations are becoming less costly, whereas experiments are becoming more expensive. As you know day by day price of computer are decreasing you can get fast computer on a reasonable price. While chemical and instruments are very expensive. Calculations can be performed on any system, even those that don't exist whereas many experiments are limited to relatively stable molecules. If a molecule does not exist you can still test different aspects of it while it is impossible and experimental. Calculations are safe, whereas many experiments have an intrinsic danger associated with them. You can even run an explosive chemical using computer which are quite difficult to handle in experimental chemistry. Where there are a lot advantages of computational chemistry there are some disadvantages of computational chemistry is also exist calculations can be very expensive in terms of the amount of time required. Calculations can be performed on any system, even those that don't exist. Computational chemistry is not a replacement for experimental studies but plays an important role in enabling chemists to explain and rationalize known chemistry explore new or unknown chemistry.